In last session, we discussed about how to include trigger and their events and uh, writing a simple validation rule using a before insert, right? Let's have a few more flavors today. Let me jump into account. Let's say whenever I'm whenever I'm creating a new record, whenever I'm creating a new record, let's say I'm creating a new record. If I enter my account name, okay, and rating. I, I should populate the account name and rating in my description as soon as I save it. Whatever the name I entered and rating, then I should populate the description value on its own way. Currently, description will not be auto-populated, right? Description is blank. So if we can recall yesterday's image, before insert will work, before reaching to a database, right? In all in your before events, you can able to modify the data and you don't need any DML operations because it never reached to a database. So there is no point of doing database operations, right? And before reaching to a database, you can overwrite the values, overwrite values in the sense, if account name I pass as, as a Akil, for example, and I can override it as a Suresh, right? Before reaching to a database. Now what I can do, I, I wanted to populate record means account dot description equal to what I need to populate? Record dot name plus record dot rating so this is what i'm doing i'm not adding a much changes what this will do this will override the description field with this value you can enter whatever you wanted in description field, but we are going to overwrite that. We are going to overwrite that. Let's take an example back. Account new new regional and I'll say my skills and rating need to be selected. I'll say that this is sample description. If I say what happens, it, the, this is this is sample will override with my skills hot. And do we have any DML operations here? No. Why we don't need? Because all these operations is happening yet before database, before database. So in before events, you don't need to operate anything on Okay, and let's understand this way. What? Okay, so this is not something we are losing information. If the business requirement says you need to populate a values, you can do it. If you don't want to override, you can add a condition, something like this. If description equal to equal to null or description equal to equal to blank if it is null or blank then you are going to override it right 
So this is not a, overriding values is not a description. What I wanted to say from here is always like if we want to update a record values in a before events, you really do not need to perform any DML operations. Okay, that is what my intention of saying this. And let's say if I want to do same thing with the after insert, after triggers, okay. Public, static, void, after, insert. In after insert, what are the values is available from the earlier session? We have both map and we have list because ID will be generated, right? So if I have both map and list, I prefer to take only map because I am a big fan of map. It makes the job easy. So I'll get map and I'll say new map. If I want to write the same logic here, if I want to write the same logic, I mean, if the rating is equal to not equal to null, then I need to throw error and I need to update the description also, okay? But remember, this is happening after database operation, so you cannot read any DML operations. For example, let me copy paste as it is here and we'll see what error you will get later. We can fix it. Instead of new, list new map dot values and now we have to go with after insert dot account trigger i'll say that i'll add that error for now Trigger the new map deploy. I first I need to deploy class, but I have deployed trigger first, so which is going error. That's fine. Now it's deployed. The same example. So if the rating is not there, it need to throw an error, right? And say that sample. I'll say account trigger execution of after insert cause by record is read only. You can see the error called record is. So what it is saying, because it is already reached a database, you cannot modify anything on a database commit variables. You cannot modify anything on after insert records. Because it is reached to a database, once it's reached, it is already committed what is there to override. Right? So, Yep, if any error comes, it will roll back. But it is not saved. This account is not saved yet. It reached a database. It never showed, it never uh, came back. This account is finally not sto uh, stored, right? So technically it got rolled back. So if I want to do such operations, I'll not able to do directly from here. What I need to do, if everything goes smooth, I'll check map of ID comma account. Accounts map equal to new map of ID comma account. Because till here it may reach to a database, it will execute after reaching database, right? 
So here I can say select id comma name comma description comma rating from account where id in column new map dot key set new map dot key set so what we are doing we are not using any trigger data we are trying to query the data from a database right as soon as you query a database data from a database what you can do you can perform all the dml operations for and i will say account record colon account map dot values now i am not using trigger map dot values i am using account map dot values isn't it now i can say this one so after doing this will that be fine no i need to say update account map deploy this to sourcer what is happening dml request is subject okay sorry my bad so you can compare the old one this one and this one how much difference we have this is a very easy to do a database operation it's a simple thing isn't it after insert is a database operation that you need to perform extra you are trying to do another dml operations on the same object now if i do say you get an error right and this is and now here i'll add one more flavor after insert so that you can segregate what is difference now if i say details after insert sam hot right so now the main intention around this session is always in the before insert in the before events you can override the values you can override the field values and you don't need to perform any dml operations okay but when comes to the after trigger events after events it can be insert it can be update it can be anything but in the after insert all your trigger context variables are read only when it say read only you can able to read the values but you are not allowed to modify any values which is not allowed so if you, if if you want to update anything on the same record then you need to run a database queries sqlql statements do your operations and then update them back okay so in the before insert or the before triggers instead of you do this one you can simply write this statement which is okay because you can you are allowed to edit the data but uh, when it comes to the after triggers you are not allowed to edit the data if you can able to edit only by querying your own sqlql statement and retrieve the records and you can able to perform in those records but you are not allowed to perform on anything on trigger context data clear